So the Canon EOS M6 Mark II has been released as one of Canon's latest mirrorless cameras back in 2018. So why am I recommending to you this now? Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll be talking about this missed opportunity of a camera that shoots at 4K uncropped. So right now, I'm actually shooting using my Canon EOS M6 for this video. So I've been using the Canon EOS M6 as my A-cam for around a year now, and I'm so impressed on how it handles. Now the M6 Mark II is a very good camera considering that it shoots at 4K uncropped. Now compared to the M50, which shoots at 4K with that crop factor as well, adding to the APS-C, I'd rather spend an extra dollar for this APS-C camera. So the M6 Mark II is a mirrorless 32.5 megapixel APS-C camera that utilizes the Digic 8 processor and has a crop factor of 1.6%, as does its older siblings. It uses an amazing 5,481 point dual pixel autofocus system with eye focus as well. It shoots at 720p, 1080p, and uncrop 4K at 24 to 60 frames per second. It also has a slow motion option, shooting at 1080p at 120 frames per second, but with a caveat, in which I'll discuss later in the video. Lastly, it also has an in-body time-lapse of 1080p and 4K. Now, it does have a viewfinder per se, in which you'll have to purchase a separate electronic viewfinder but it does have a 3.5 millimeter mic input, which I prefer since I'm using this mainly for videos. Now it also is HDMI compatible with a mini HDMI port on the side. Now with the available USB-C port here, you can also charge the battery without even taking it out of the camera, provided that you have a USB-C recommended cable by Canon. It also has a three inch 1.04 million dot flip up touchscreen, Although flipping up that touchscreen makes it impossible to attach an external camera accessory such as your shotgun mic for vlogging. It also has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for remote control and file sharing as well as digital image stabilization that works wonders if accompanied more so with a lens based image stabilization. Now what I love about this camera is that it shoots at 4K uncropped as I've said earlier comparing to the M50 which not only has that 1.6 APS-C sensor crop, but also adding to it the 4K crop factor as well. So that's double the crop on what used to be only a 1.6 crop factor. The ISO on this camera can also go from 100 to up to 25500. That further extends to 51200. Although I suggest that you go this far as more so a last resort for obvious reasons. Image quality is also outstanding now more than ever with the added eye autofocus as well. As far as the dynamic range goes, it's pretty okay for a small camera. Although I noticed that in standard mode, it was a bit warm for my taste. It also has a burst mode for those sports, animal and children related shots as well. Now I'm not going to delve up too much into photography as I'm using this camera mainly to shoot videos. But I am, however, going to talk about that flip-up screen. Now, the flip-up screen is ideal for those selfie photos, but with regards to making video content while vlogging, you're going to need that hot shoe mount to mount in a shotgun mic. Problem is, firstly, the LCD needs to be in full tilt before the screen reorientates to the correct alignment, and second, because the mic's in the way, you won't be able to see yourself in the screen anyway. So I recommend buying a cage or a relocation mount, just like what I have from Small Rig. Now, one more caveat about this camera is its lenses. Now, since it's part of Canon's EOS M line of cameras, its EF lens are very much limited. Now, you can easily remedy this situation by simply purchasing an EF to EFM lens adapter so that you can use your old DSLR lenses for this EOS M camera. So what do you think? Are you willing to make this camera your startup camera with its 4K uncropped and also fast and accurate autofocus? Let me know down in the comments description below. Anyways guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and also hit that bell icon for any more future notifications. Until then, I'll see you all on the next vid.